Okay, I know what I'm getting. It was a suggestion by one of my snack pack crew friends. That is very cheesy. Hello, snack pack. Welcome back to Shop Snacks. Today's episode is there's just a mishmash of things. In today's video, we start out with a flat tire, which is not an easy thing when you're in a van you live in. We dip our toe into three different states. I'll give you a bit of an update on this East Coast journey. And we end off with some cheesy deliciousness. There's a bunch of stuff in this video, so let's jump right in. So I woke up and I immediately did not want oatmeal. I wanted a breakfast sandwich from Panera. So I placed an online order, got in my van to drive and noticed something was off. So I got out and lo and behold, I had a flat tire. This really sucks. And I got on the AAA app, ordered a roadside assistance call, and it was going to take at least 30 to 45 minutes. So I ended up calling Panera and canceling my breakfast order. My tire is underneath my van and it takes this special toolkit to get it done. I've never done it myself, but I figured the AAA person would know how to get it up. He crawled under the van, used the tools that I had, and he did that for quite a while. And then he just said that he really didn't know how to get it off. So he's like, well, I guess the only other option is to tow it, which I really didn't want to do. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that I live in the van, so I have all kinds of stuff in my cabinets and shelves and just everything is supposed to stay level. It would be the same thing if somebody came through with a trailer and tried to tip your house. There'd be things that you'd be concerned about tipping over. So I really didn't have any time to secure anything before he started to hook up the van. But I thought he was just going to kind of tip it a little bit and then pull it behind his truck. But no, he actually tipped it, pulled it all the way up and got it on the flatbed and he was a little concerned that it was going to be too tall and it would hit some power lines and I was like well I definitely don't want that to happen and he's like I think it's going to be okay and I was like you think or you know and he's like I guess we'll give it a try which wasn't very comforting. He recommended a local tire shop so I called over and it was going to be $300 for one tire. I was like heck no Walmart is like a mile away so he told me over to Walmart and the Walmart people were kind of just standing around they weren't really helpful I went in they finally said you can go ahead and pull it into one of these bays. Once he got the van off of the flatbed, I did check to see and by the grace of God, nothing in my van tipped over or broke, so hallelujah. The girl said for your van, there's only two tires available. And before I chose one, I was like, can the tire be repaired? And she said, no, the damage is on the sidewall. So I chose the better of the two tires because I do drive quite a bit. And $145 later, I have a fancy schmancy new tire. So even though it costs money, I feel better that this is a good tire. And then I was on my way. This van stays pressing on my bank account. What should be pressed instead is that like button. Also become part of the snack pack by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. And keep watching till the end. We got some good stuff coming up. So the thing is, when I started this East Coast trip, I was thinking that it would be a nice, cool driving road trip. And a lot of things have gone wrong on this trip. If you've been following along, you've seen all the things in the videos, including my health. And I've really been trying to stick it out and continue to visit all the different states, to tick the states off of my list, to try all the restaurants, try all the foods, try all the things. And the biggest thing is my health. The second biggest thing is the weather. It's so hot and my glasses broke. So I have this little blue sticky stuff on here, but the lens keeps falling out. I need to get to the doctor in California. I'm just uncomfortable. The whole point of being a nomad is the freedom to go wherever you want to go, whenever you want to go. And I have to let go of my expectations of this particular journey. I may not be able to see all the states. I may not be able to do all the things. So today I'm going to visit one last place in Maine, and then I'm going to Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. I say this right now because right now I'm feeling okay. I'm trying to get those three states done and then I'm gonna start heading back down to go to a few other spots. I'm trying to rally and get some of these things in. So come along with me on my journey back to California 
And then once I get to California, go to the doctor and all that stuff, then I'll be back out on the road doing my van life because I don't have another place. I don't have a house or an apartment. This is my house. This is where I live. So I need to get it together. I'm learning things as I go. So let's do this. Okay, so before I left Maine, I went to a place called The Holy Donut, and they are a apparently a Maine specialty. It's a potato donut, and it was quite good. I mean, they weren't the best donuts I ever had, but they were good donuts, especially the triple berry. Delicious. And then I got on the road and took a three and a half, almost four hour drive through New Hampshire into Vermont and now I'm in Vermont I just got here about 10 minutes ago and the place I want to go to is already closed for the day so now I gotta wait till tomorrow so I just typed in where's the nearest Walmart because usually where there's a Walmart there's other things food and it's just a little more populated because of where I'm at now it's gorgeous but there's no there's nobody here it's just a bunch of greenery and then houses just dotted here and there. I'm gonna go find some food because it's already six o'clock. Vermont is beautiful. Like fairy tale beautiful. Like so beautiful. I had no idea. It's all just green, green and more green, green trees and beautiful, lush, very nice, very clean. What can I find for dinner around here? So I guess the Walmart's back in New Hampshire. That's how close I was. Okay, so I guess this is a town called Lebanon, New Hampshire. It's a very small town from what I can see, but they do have all the regular things. Walmart, Dollar Tree, Home Depot, a grocery store, Applebee's, some other things. They close at six and it's 621. I needed ice and I needed vinegar because I always clean out my toilet every time I go to the bathroom. So I guess I'll have to get it tomorrow. I'm gonna look up something to eat around here and I may end up having to stay in this Walmart parking lot tonight because I don't see very much else around here. I hate staying in Walmart parking lots though, but I see a couple RVs, a camper with a pop-up, a truck with a camper, some other vans. So I think this is the place to be, I don't know. But first food. Okay, I know what I'm getting. It was a suggestion by a snack packer, Steve Ackerman. He told me to get this in Maine, but I didn't before I left. But now I just noticed that they have it here in New Hampshire. So I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, that really threw me off because I didn't know where the place was and it was inside of a gas station. <laughs> this light, the sun is shining through the trees, which sounds magnificent, but not when you're trying to film. Okay, so what I got is Amato's. And this is a chain restaurant. And what I got is a Caesar salad with no chicken, which you guys know what a Caesar is, so I'm not gonna show you that. But they have something called Pazzo bread and it's fresh baked dough with cheese, garlic, and blah, 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 all the good, awesome, buttery stuff. And then they give you some pizza sauce. So thanks for the recommendation to Steven Ackerman, part of the snack pack. This looks delicious, and I am so excited about this. This is a little bit of a mess. 
I'm gonna have to come back because this is so hot. I'm gonna need to let this cool down. Let me move this van as well. They're probably like, what is she doing? I've moved like three times already in this parking lot. It's the same problem. <laughs> That's even worse, great. Okay, so I think it might be cooled down enough. So let's take a piece from the middle and dip it. Mm. That is very cheesy and buttery and bready. Mm. This is definitely super greasy and buttery. I can't lift it or I'm gonna drop everything. It's just like super cheesy bread. Mm. Yum. I know I said you guys have seen Caesar salad before, but this is a nice Caesar. It's got nice croutons and chunks of cheese in there. So this is what's for dinner. I'll find a place to sleep in a minute. I'm either gonna go to a hotel or back to Walmart, but I'll look at that after I eat. Now that we've had that delicious dinner, we're gonna get some rest and stay tuned for the next video because we go somewhere very cool and very Vermonty. Bye for now. And then I got on the road. Whoa. The only thing I had today was, well, that's not true. Oh, a little, little tiny mouse. We dip our toe into three different So let's Very cool This fan stays pressing on my checking it. What? And then tomorrow, Snack time. Snack time.